Hello, um, it is Monday. We are still working on that harvest 2020. We only have about 250 acres to go. Um, so the next probably three days because it's gonna be good weather all week. So there's no point in staying up super late. Um, we did get a late start. It is after noon um, because we had a pretty heavy frost this morning and it got heavier as the morning went on. Um, so kind of had to wait for that to burn off a little bit. But yeah, very excited to be done. <clears throat> I've said that for what the past three weeks, but I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I think we're going to, Bob is coming to work ground tomorrow. Um, Bob has been on the farm uh, for over 50 years. I wanna say 58 years. Um, he worked for my great uncle before he worked for my dad. Um, so he's basically like family, um, but he usually works all the ground for us in the fall and then mows roadsides and stuff like, actually he's mowing today. Um, but yeah, also it'd be great if we could get some rural internet going because <clears throat> last week's week recap video, it's still uploading uh, Monday at noon. It's not even two thirds of the way uploaded for a 15 minute video. It's wonderful. <laughs> but yeah, it's been uploading for 24 hours now. So I guess I need to start start uploading the week recap videos like Friday at noon so they might be up by the end of the weekend by Sunday night. So, how, oh, I guess it's backwards for you, probably. I don't know. But I love it. It says Green Car Operator Therapy there on my website. Now, if only this coat kept a little something extra in it. Actually, I can't complain. My dad's in a pretty good mood. My brother is coming home this week to help. Um, so, yeah. That's a very long introduction, but it's going to be a really good week. We are for sure going to finish Harvest 2020 this week. Cheers to that. Finish up this field, only two more fields to go, but we gotta take the corn head off um, to move. Oh, the neighbor's stopping to say hi. Uh, but yeah, we gotta take the corn head off to move back um, since we're moving a little bit further than we usually do. So, All right, so we finished this field that we started last night. Um, also happy election day. Um, but we are moving. We have two fields left. Not that many acres. The one field only has 15 acres, so it's more of a patch. Um, 
and then the other field is pretty decent size i know they got some out last week when i was gone at the wedding um but yeah once we get the 15 acres out the rest of it should come out pretty quickly because it's not that far from the shop actually it's not even a mile down the road on the highway um so great for loading trucks big wide open field not hardly any waterways it should be a good end to harvest 2020. We are going to finish um, the night with less than 70 acres left to go, which is super exciting because it means that we will for sure finish Harvest 2020 tomorrow. Um, but since it is election day, election night, um, we are quitting a little bit early so we can go in and watch all the polls come in, um, you know, root for who we voted for. Super important, especially in agriculture, to protect those interests. Um, but yeah, we, my family, we love election day. I'm currently trying to watch, watch the votes come in, um, off my hotspot. And then I'm just like updating. A nice mood there. I don't see the moon. I, the cart's in the way. Oh yeah, that is. So one more round and we are in to watch um to see who wins president or as late as we can stay up got the guys working ground this morning and we are headed to finish up harvest you can't you can't do anything without them interrupting you on the radio but like i just said we are just about to wrap up Harvest 2020. Um, our bins are full. The last few trucks have been going to town. Um, we've got Bob and Grizz working ground. Um, I think Dad will probably start spraying fall burn down. I don't know if, I guess it is later than I thought, but fall burn down will begin to be sprayed. Basically, we are light years ahead of where we have been the past two years. The last two harvests have been Completely honestly, they've been hell. They did not get done until the middle of December just because that was a super wet fall. Um, just terrible conditions. And we had to wait pretty much until the ground froze. And we would start at midnight, 1 a.m. Um, once it froze for the, for the night. And then harvest until it thawed. Just because otherwise none of the equipment could go across it. So... It's a, it's a good day. It's a good harvest. It may not have been the best ever um, altogether, but we have plenty to be grateful for, especially in grateful that it's just about done. <laughs> So the combine and the car over there are in one of the storage sheds. I'm just out here putting out um, rat poison. Um, but yeah, things are put away, which means it's officially the end. Thank goodness. Now on to working ground. I can't remember if I actually shared the scale house at all during corn harvest so because all of our corn comes through our scales here at the shop right out that window and we have our own little book with all the scale tickets so just thought i would show you that real quick so we make a ticket for every truck that comes through here um it's about the date what it is what field it came from where it's going so like most of this stuff is going to the wet bin um what truck it came in on what the moisture tested coming off of it weight um total weight total bushels and then total dry bushels 
um, because you have to apply the shrink to 15% moisture. So like those, like that last truck came in at 17.6. So to shrink it down um, to 15, but yeah. Um, so we've got the old scales here, which is actually kind of cool. And then our handy dandy fancy scales. Um, a ton of folders, coffee cans, and then the real MVP of Harvest, the moisture tester. But yeah, um, I think we filled out a book and a half of these. So it just helps us keep um, really good records through Harvest. And then that way, um, my dad's obviously in the combine the whole time. So when he comes in at night, he can look and get a better idea of I mean, he's got a pretty good idea of where things are going in the bins, but just to make sure that everything is where he thinks it is, so. So now that I'm kind of sort of out of the wind, this is kind of blocking it for me. Um, I just thought I'd show you what it looks like inside the bin when it's full. Um, actually, all of our bins are full. Like I said, we took the last few loads to town. So if you open up the, the door, This is what it looks like. It's uh, real full, real full. But look at all of this Midwest gold. That is what I like to see. So it kind of depends how long we will keep this in the bins. Um, we used to keep it all the way until July of the following year. We took a lot of it to a cereal mill um, 15, 20 miles away. Um, but now we just kind of sell it whenever we can get the, the best price. So sometimes that is right after harvest and sometimes that is next summer. Um, so I think we've got some to be delivered November, December. So I guess now. Um, and then I know that my dad has been talking about um, holding some of it until next summer. Um, the farm marketers, you know, they all talk and try to get get buy corn and um, get people to sell it. So I know that he has gotten some offers for decent prices, especially <laughs> right now, um, to hold it until next summer and deliver it then when the elevator is in greater demand for it. So I also, um, I don't like heights, so I refuse to climb the legs. This is as high as I'll go and I don't like it. I need to get down before it gets dark. So just because harvest is over does not mean the work is. We still have um, all the field work to do. Um, like working ground stuff like that and then I think my dad's going to spray some fall burn down but Yeah, um, just got back from lunch and dropping my dad off. He's mowing I'm working around a turbo till Jeff's working around a turbo till and Bob is running the ripper. So The turbo tails are running on corn ground and then Bob is ripping um, bean stubble So I will show you my ride for the day for the next few days actually so this is my ride. It's actually already running because my dad and I got some stuff worked out with the down pressure on the wings of the turbo tail. Um, if you remember, we had the card on that for a little bit this fall while the 8420 was broken down. But this is the turbo tail. Um, We work with Nutrien, they're just up the road and they're great to work with, um, but they've actually already spread lime. Um, they spread that yesterday and then this part has already been worked, so it just kind of works it right in there. Um, so if you can, you can kind of see this part has been worked with the turbo tail and this part hasn't yet.
the best part about being done with harvest um we still have a lot of work to do obviously but it's well it looks lighter than it is it's actually dark i guess because the lights are on duh um but it's dark out and we will all be home by eight o'clock so much nicer than it has been for the past two months Uh, it is Friday afternoon. Um, I spent most of the day finishing the field that I started yesterday afternoon. Um, it was like 130 acres. And this thing is only 24 feet wide. I got stuck with the little turbo tail, so it took me a while. Plus, um, we stopped for dinner, and then my dad and I went to a visitation this afternoon. So, I am just pulling into this next field at o'clock so it's a good thing for my dad that I have no social life although I do have a lot of work that needs to be done but ooh, I don't know, I'm gonna scratch myself but I just thought I would give you guys um I would show you how I actually set it up so I don't have to steer going down the roads we use um auto steer which is super handy it would not be good if, if we didn't have this for me the road nothing would be straight so this is my screen. Um, so it's on a field and then we actually have it set as um, just a turbo till. That way it's the same angle for every field. And then when I do the ends, we'll switch back to the actual field that it is um, because those boundaries are um, loaded into, into this. And then we want to switch to straight track and we'll pick which one we want um, and so these are east-west rows yeah so then all I have to do is hit a line um, and then when I I just hit this auto steer button and it will automatically keep me on that line going all the way down the down the field so I'm doing the field edges right now so you can see like that's the edge of the field um, and they didn't have the devastator to squash their stalks down um, and then this is us. So the edge of that blade is just like on the very very edge of our field. Good morning and a happy Saturday. Like I said before just because harvest is over there's still a ton of work to do so it is bright and early. Um, on Saturday morning um, and I'm heading out to work ground some more ground with the turbo till I think my dad and Jeff are spraying today because <clears throat> it's not supposed to be super windy and then next week it is supposed to pick back up again and also I think there's a chance of rain a day or two um, so hopefully we can get the majority of field work done before before that happens yeah and then it'll just be a lot of shop work. So when I have the auto steer on, this little green circle, um, well it's not usually green, but it, it turns green and has an A in it, and then I'm like right on my line. And then this just kind of shows me like how far um, either way that I am varying. So I guess dad is not spraying yet like he had planned um, because he is mowing the waterways in this field. So just stopped here for a quick second, uh, honestly because I had to go to the bathroom, otherwise <laughs> I would be getting yelled at for stopping. But while I stopped, I just wanted to show you because the neighbor worked his field a different way than we're working ours. So I just wanted to like show the differences. So this is what I just worked. Um, it's definitely like work the ground, but it left most of the stalks on top. Whereas the neighbor, now I haven't worked my end yet, but this is what the neighbor did. So it's basically uh, definitely a lot deeper tillage. Uh, I think he used a cultivator. I'm not good um, at figuring that stuff out just by the looks of it, but it like actually turned the dirt over. Um, that's why his is dark and mine still has a lot of stalks on top. 
So Grizz is running the inline ripper today. Um, usually Bob runs it, but he was sick today. So Grizz came back to help out. He's been in this field all day and that's all the farther he's gotten because his is only seven things wide. But he's, this is what it looks like um, compared to like the turbo tail or the cultivator that the neighbor had. So it literally just like digs in right there. But we're doing this to pretty much all the bean stubble and then running the turbo tails on um, the corn ground that's going to beans next year. And then this will go to corn. We just do a 50-50 rotation. And that is the week. It is only 7.30, but it is already pretty dark out. Um, my dad sprayed today after he finished mowing. Jeff, Grizz, and I all worked ground. I think I might have like a day off tomorrow not a full day off probably um still be around to help move things around and little things like that but um yeah they have haven't finished spreading lime on all of the fields that we have to work um so there's no point in Jeff and I working ground that hasn't been spread yet and we're pretty much caught up so I'm excited because I get to go to church in the morning and it's been a while since I we've been so busy working that I haven't really gotten to go in person in a while. And also we are having a baby shower for our preacher. She got custody of her um, little grandson, which is super exciting and the best thing for that kid. And she and her husband, they're just really good people. So I'm super excited and happy for um, something that we've all been praying for. So I have to go to Dollar General now to... Uh, get a gift and card. Thank you guys so much for watching along. Thank you to those of you who have sent me messages and little gifts. I really do appreciate all of that. Yeah, I hope you have a, I hope you've been having a really great weekend and have a really great week. So this year things have been pretty dry, but this field always stays wet on the south end. So my dad actually, I had to run home real quick. Um, so my dad worked the corner out for me and he had to go around a couple spots because they're still um, pretty tacky and then in the corners I won't be able to work them because there's water standing. It's the only place water standing in the whole freaking county. So usually you can't really see like where I've gone that well but in this field the way the light's hitting it um, you can which is making things a lot easier. But because um, this is only 24 feet wide, it's a lot easier to like skip a pass. So I just kind of like weave, sorry about the hand, but I just kind of like weave back and forth. Um, that way I don't have to like back up at the end and then get like right in there next to my last pass, if that makes any sense at all. too much. Hi buddy. What are you doing? Huh? Hi. Okay. I got a <laughs> but I got a whole bunch of packages. Be nice to the cats. Be nice to mow. Are you scared of the kittens? Hmm? Hey.
Hey, be nice to the cat. Oh, I need to feed you guys. You guys are on the food today. Hey, be nice. Roscoe. Hey, be nice. Are you being nice? 